looks like smooth sailing ahead. Ahoy there, I'm Big Potato Robin, and when I'm not sailing the ocean blue, I'm playing my favourite game. Sounds fishy. Here's how it works. Get all hands on deck and pop a few question cards into the dispenser, making sure they're all facing the right way. Now select one salty sea dog to be the guesser. They hand one fish to each player. Now don't show them to anyone. All fish should be red herrings except for one, the true blue kipper. When you're ready to cast off, the guesser holds up a question card and reads it out. So in 1900, what did the curator of the Smithsonian predict people would have in the future? The rest of the players can see the answer on the back of the card. Each red herring has to make up a fake answer. I think it's jetpacks. Um, extra thumb. Underwater houses. But when it comes to the true blue kipper, they have to give the answer that's on the back of the card. Flying uh, refrigerators. Robot butlers. Definitely. Now the guesser has to pick out the fake answers one by one, but it won't all be smooth sailing. If they pick the true blue kipper before they eliminate all the red herrings, then their turn will be over. Mm, I don't think it's jetpacks. Ah! Yes. And no way for extra fun. Well, actually, you're right. At any time, the guesser can end their turn and bank their points or they can keep on fishing. It can't be flying refrigerator. Oh dear, the guesser picked the real answer, so their turn is over. What? Now it's time to dish out the points. The guesser gets a point for every red herring they catch. Here, they caught two red herrings, but because they stumbled on the true blue kipper, they lose those points. If the guesser flipped over your red herring, you also score nothing. These two players were also red herrings, but because they didn't get caught by the guesser, they each get one point for every flipped fish on the board. So they each get three points. This person was the true blue kipper. Because they fooled the guesser into choosing their true answer, they score a point for every fish that wasn't flipped over. So in this example, they get two points. After handing out the points, the next round begins. Each player gets a turn being the guesser, trying to fish for as many red herrings as they can. At the end of the game, whoever scores the most points is the winner. And once you're done playing Sounds Fishy, you should go join the Potato Club. They have a weekly prize draw and they'll fix you up with replacement parts if you need them. How's that for an easy sale? Mm.